Despite his best efforts to try entering the castle unnoticed, the vampires know that Gabriel is coming. Night is fast approaching, and soon he will have to use all his wits and powers to defeat what nightmares inhabit this place of death and decay. His strength grows by the day, and yet his hate intensifies deep within. He eats little and sleeps less. She is there in his thoughts, his beloved Marie. He knows that his journey is far from over. This castle, I fear, will push him into the abyss from which there is no escape. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is Advanced Logic, and welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania Lords of Shadow. Here we are in Chapter 6, which is a part of this too. And, I don't know, for some reason I thought I remember uh, Chapter 7 and onwards being on Disc 2, and I thought Chapter 6 was a part of Disc 1, but apparently that's not the case. Anyway, we're, I just started it off like that because I definitely did not want to do the switching after I introduced thing, <laughs> after I introduced myself, because then uh, I fucking have to edit stuff and shit. That's more editing than I want to do. That's all I'm trying to say. Anyway, hell font right here, and of course, there's this thing right here. Or there's a gate blocking this entrance right here, so we just gotta go this way. Excuse me. Anyway, so this is the entrance to the vampire stronghold. And... Animated arms. Anyway, someone did point out in one of the comments, I forgot who exactly, but I remember doing this too, but I completely forgot about it until they reminded me. So whoever you are, thank you for reminding me. Like, with the animated armors, as long as you, like, keep attacking their shields and such, eventually, like, the shield will start glowing as if you can react to it with the combat cross and stuff. So you just gotta keep attacking them, and Jesus, I am just, like, being cornered right here. Alright, stop it. Freaking camera's not helping any much either. There we go, now it's that shield started glowing, you just press right trigger, and then you can pull the shield off of them. And they have no way to block themselves anymore. Or I think their defenses drop after that. Hey, stop it. Anyway, now they have no way to block themselves, though they still can attack. In fact, I still think they could do their unblockable attack. Oh, God. So, just keep that in mind. The shield, getting rid of that shield is definitely helpful. Because I definitely don't want to keep using my freaking Dark Crystal every time I encounter some of these fuckers. That, seems just, that just seems like a waste. Just to use a Dark Crystal against two animated armors. So we're just getting one out of the way, and butt in mashing. There we go. Getting some of that magic of this. So just keep attacking their shield, even though they can react back or counterattack with that. Just keep attacking the shield, and you eventually you will be able to get rid of it. There we go. I completely forgot about that, and here I was using my freaking dark qu <laughs> crystals. Dark crystals. Here I am wasting them. And look at all that freaking magic. Oh, Jesus. Look how much I overcharged my light magic, and it was just at the basic, and now it's just like more than half overcharged. Oh, oh shit, I probably should use that overcharge. <laughs> Considering, oh my god, I'm gonna freaking die. See, at least this time I actually figure out that I was going to die instead of waiting for the next hit, and then I freaking die, and then I have to do all this again. It's just like, oh, that's a nasty habit of mine. Maybe I should turn on the one thing where I can see Gabriel's health underneath them. That would definitely help towards me noticing, oh, I should probably heal. <laughs> and I guess they wanted to use the crystal because now they dropped, like, little crystal shards that could have made a whole crystal. Anyway, screw it. We'll just keep on going on. So, with this one, I remember, like, once you have it completely open, you better jump into that hole, otherwise it will just close up again. I don't think the enemies respawn or anything. Just keep in mind. Just keep going down. And this part I do remember. See those little breakable parts? Break into it, and we get a body over here. With a life gem. Alright, cool. Anyway, we're going to be fighting some more skeleton warriors and such. But, yeah, hold them off for now. Because you could definitely have an easier way to deal with them. Or, maybe if you want to, deal with them. But, eventually... Like, in a couple seconds, we're going to be interrupted by a certain enemy joining in. And that enemy will definitely help a lot more than what our <laughs> current skills will allow. Actually, I should... I want to try doing that one Kamehameha, because... Like, I do have enough of the magic board, but... 
Yeah, it'll drain my magic like you wouldn't believe. And there it is. So here they have wargs for some fucking reason. You would think that uh, I don't know why I don't I don't know why vampires have wargs, but screw it. Not gonna make sense of it. Anyway, I honestly cannot remember what the skill is for the Hame Kamehameha. I think it was like press Y and then X, the Holy Cross. Yep, press Y and hold X. There we go, with light magic active. Making sure. Anyway, ah, damn it. Hey, stop it. Ah! Look at that. Holy shit. I got most of these guys' health out of the way. That is definitely helpful. <laughs> It got most of their health out of the way in no time flat, too. Holy shit. Anyway, I probably should freaking heal and get this guy out of the way. Oh, shit. There we go. Fuck! Just checking this body over here. Anyway, I think that I broke my leg when I fell down here, so it doesn't seem I'm going to get out soon. Strange indeed. It seems the vampires keep wargs and trolls as captives. Suspect this is to feed on them if human blood supply runs low. I've heard that many centuries ago this cancel once belonged to the Bernard family. They must have driven, been driven out when the Dark Lord of the Vampires came. If something approaches, it sounds like the rattle of bones. Oh look, how very convenient. It's, it's as if I did not know this was coming. Oh my god. Oh my god. I How did I... This is such a shocker. I don't know. Anyway. Screw it. Ah, <laughs> bitches! The hell out of here! There you go, and you too, buddy. Get the hell out of here, or most of your health out of the way. Look at this! Holy shit! I don't even have to deal with these guys. <laughs> I just have to deal with the warp now, and then I'm out of magic, and I'm just standing there like a jackass. Oh shit! There you go. I just have to deal with the warp. Just like with any other... Oh, shit. Hey, stop it. Stop it. And apparently they could just spawn up. Jesus. I guess I do have to deal with at least one skeleton warrior. Oh, God. Don't want to die. Actually, I should probably <laughs> go to the ma magic font over here. Oh, God. Did you guys see right there that uh, the warg actually did knock down the skeleton warrior? And keep that in mind. And that's why I was... Uh, Trying to get the warg to pop up while I was trying to deal with these guys. Oh, no, no, no. And geez, thankfully they give enough magic, and I'm just gonna keep doing the Kamehameha in this. I'm just doing all that. <laughs> Doesn't help me recover health, though, that's the problem. Oh, oh, gee. Oh, god damn it. Uh, I'm just. I don't want to die here. I, I, no. Okay. Fuck that. All right. Just attack me. There we go. Damn it! I did not react quick enough. That part. I'm just relying on the light magic now. Jeez, it does enough overkill. I don't even think that skeleton knight's gonna be coming back. Well, at least I got plenty of life magic left over, and now I can deal with this ward properly. Jeez. I'm, I don't remember having this much trouble when I was doing my practice run of this level, too. Anyway, let's just mount this fucker. Because because of Forest Wilds, do we need the freaking ward? And then there's like a little glowing part right here. I think this has been a long time coming, too. Let me look at this. Hey, stop it. War's probably pissed off that these fucking vampires just keep them cactus too, so yeah, we're doing them a favor. Alright, cool. And I don't think we need this work for anything else, let's just kill him. There we go. Remember there was something on this side. This doesn't lead to the end of the level, though we are getting pretty damn close to Oh, oh, oh no, no, don't want to fall down there again. Yep, the hell font over there. Alright. So, if you need the health, go ahead and grab that good says, but, eh. Actually, I did need it. Never mind. Ah, uh, yes, a body over here, too. Hooray, I caught it. And it just had a scroll. God damn it. That's pointless then. Alright, what does it say? Heard that the relic at the Abbey can not only destroy vampires, but combined with light magic, can also create a temporary shield that surrounds the wielder. 
I wish I had such an item, for the vampires are strong and I am weary of battle. It must rest, if only for a few minutes. <laughs> no. And over here, like a little crystal portion, or a little crystal reserve if you need it. If you have a crystal, if you didn't want to deal with the warg and all that. <laughs> or the skeleton warriors, just use the crystal. Considering most enemies are extremely weak to the dark crystal, that will definitely just keep that in mind. Actually, I should probably do that right now, because we're coming up to freaking enemies that they're just going to piss me off right now. Or I reacted quick enough when I first did this. Eh, run, 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 run. Just open it, sir. Because, of course, this isn't going to be so straightforward. The enemies are just going to be popping up right now. Open it. Open it. Open it. Yes! Look at that! Open it in time! Oh, I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> Look at that. That entire battle was completely avoidable. Granted, I could use the experience, but nah, screw that. Look at this. And we're already out of there. If you're quick enough to open that door before they start, like, interrupting you, because once you do that last turn, they cannot interrupt you. So react quick enough, you can get through that area without having to fight a single skeleton warrior. Picked that one up last night. <laughs> It seems getting into the castle will be more difficult than first thought. Gabriel will have to navigate the maze gardens. In this place, a man can be lost forever, or devoured by the creatures that haunt its labyrinthine corridors. These gardens were once the most beautiful in all Europe, and many pilgrims would visit the castle grounds from lands far away to witness their timeless beauty. Now they lie wasted and rotten, decaying as their master lives on. That bastard! Anyway. And nothing over here. So yeah, if you're wondering why I around the out why I outran those skeleton warriors when I could have fought them, well you fought them in a really narrow room, and considering their attacks hit hard and all that crap. Anyway, actually before I continue on with that rant, now we got a new enemy here. So these are Mandragoras. Common ingredients in the creation of magic potions, mandrake roots are an important resource for alchemists and mages the world over. However, the harvesting of mandrake roots is a dangerous activity. When the root is dug up, the plant will scream loudly, killing anyone near it. When they're fully grown, mandrakes become mandragora, sentient beings who survive by draining the life force of nearby creatures. So you guys can see, they're pretty weak to the holy water, a little strong against the daggers, not so strong against the shadow daggers, and yeah, just... Just look, I don't have to freaking explain this to you. And just like the description says, they can absorb your health. So just destroy them. Thankfully they are extremely weak, so if you just manage to get them before they get you, then you're pretty good. And the trial for this uh, level is that you have to kill 15 Mandragora in, in within 15 seconds. So once you kill the first one, you get like a 15 second timer, and then you have to kill them quick enough. Anyway, of course, since they are extremely fragile, and since there are a lot of them, uh, it could be pull it could be pulled off, but they do get knocked back really easy, so you can't really use the area attack to take them down. Or at least I tried doing that when I did my practice run, and yeah. Anyway, as I was trying to say before, <laughs> with the whole uh, why I ra why I outran those skeleton warriors, because you fight them in a narrow room, and like they can really gang up on you. If you don't want to deal with that, if you suck at fighting in a narrow room. And by all means, used what I just used. So to get the hell out of there. Man, I see a body over here. That's nice. And more Mandragoras, too. Somehow I need to get to the other side of the gardens. There must be a way over the hedge. I've been looking for tracks in the snow. A telltale sign of movable objects. If I could push a... Find, if I find... The, the, fuck! If I could find a column or statue, I could move it and push it close to the e hedge. I might be able to get to the other side. Keep that in mind. Oh, hey, stop it. So yes, they can absorb your health. Get them out of the way, especially if you're in low health. In fact, fight absorption with absorption. Use fucking light magic on them. I mean, look at this. I'm getting my health back. Hell yes. Oh, oh no, no. Though if you do run out of their range, I'm pretty sure you could get rid of them. And there's something over here. What's over here? A body? Of course a body. Ah, of course. He's going to absorb my health. In the middle of the freaking animation, too. Jeez. And a light magic gem. All right. <clears throat> anyway, this maze, or this maze, ah, this, ah, what was the level called again? It's pretty much a hedge maze. 
don't know, this level I definitely like because it's like a maze. You just gotta look around, figure out what the hell to do. And it's pretty diversified with the way you gotta find some of the gems. So right there we found the light magic gem, and I think there's only one of each gem in this level. And oh god, I'm gonna die. Definitely don't not not to die. There we go. Get my health back. Uh, no, you're not. Anyway, just keep looking around. Eventually, you will figure out the puzzle or how to move, make your way around here. And that Andrew Gore just runs out and runs away like a little bitch. All right. It, oh wait, I'm making my way back. What the hell am I going? Because just look around, look for something that you can interact with, and keep it in mind, such as this. And we can't even jump the distance. There's a freaking ah, what do you call those? It's a freaking fence in the way, so there's no way we can even jump it whatsoever. Anyway, Mandragora's right here, and you can actually see there's some tracks right here, and it leads to this statue. So, of course, get yeah, over there. Hey, <laughs> man, I love that attack. Oh, God, I'm running low on health here. Hey, stop it. Stop it. I'm trying to take my health back. You guys are trying to take my health. Hey, freaking hate these Mandragoras. I mean, they're extremely fragile, and you could deal with them easily, but the thing is, you knock them back really easily, and you can't deal with them quicker. Or, like, they don't... Well, it's considering they are fragile. Of course they get knocked back easier. I don't know what the hell I'm thinking. Oop. Sweet. Anyway, this is what that guy was talking about with moving a statue around and being able to jump over the hedges. There we go. And that was simple enough. I don't think there's anything over here. So we're just going to have to keep going. And... There's a puzzle right there that we just gotta solve. Thankfully I remember this one being piss easy. Oh god, Mandragora is everywhere in this bitch. And they run away like bitches. And just like the other one that we came across, that we cannot jump that and we couldn't even if we wanted to considering there's a fence in the way. Anyway, now we're gonna have to find a way to get across that. And let's conveniently move over here. Oh! Well look at that! So we can't jump it, but we can use freaking spider web. Spider web. Spider web. And damn it. Get the hell over here, buddy. I think I'm gonna get that last direct heavy combo thing right now. This is what I like about this game. You can get a combo in the middle of the freaking level. There we go. Hey, hey, hey. So that's the final upgrade to the direct heavy combo. So now with the final hit, we could get a con like a defense breaker. So if they don't react <laughs> like with an unblockable attack, then you should be good. Bam! Look at that. Does some pretty decent damage too. So yeah, keep that in mind. I kind of like how the enemies around here are definitely buffed up compared to their earlier counterparts. Like the spider right here. If we tried fighting a spider back in chapter two, we would have gotten our ass. We could have, we would have handed its ass to it on a platter, but here it's definitely a stronger version of the original spider. And it's just gonna, yeah, there you go, buddy. Come on. Ah, damn it, fucking whore. There we go. Well, at least I reacted quick enough. And there we go. Get over here, buddy. So yeah, we're gonna be using the spider for quite a few things, namely, or primarily, this one little puzzle over here or to reach this puzzle over here. But after this, we're gonna be using it for other stuff. So of course, if you don't remember, you just press Y to create a web, and Mike's chair is squeaking. I'm not even gonna edit that out. It's not worth it. If you hear a chair squeak, who the hell cares? Unless you're studying. In which case, why are you even watching this video when you should be studying? Hearing my chair all squeak? Yeah, how you like that? Go study, don't watch this video. Anyway, and then you're going to need the spider to open this, so don't kill it just yet. And one more thing we're going to be needing it for. Oh yeah, I think I see a body over here too. Don't kill it just yet though, we can come back to that body. So just use the spider on this door, and get it to open, and don't think like the other one, it'll like just bend. This one will actually fully open, so we're going to be needing the spider for this section. I don't think we had, I don't think we fight any Mandragoras with the spider, or while mounted on the spider. And we just go back to that one area and we use the same method that we used to uh, open the one thing. 
or to get that one. Oh, look, oh yeah, man, dude. Hey, Mandragoras, how you doing, buddies? So wait, what was I talking about? So we use the same method we used right now to get to the to open the patch of that one puzzle to get over here. And I believe this is the last thing we do have to use the spider for. And once after this, now you can kill him. Unless you don't really feel like it, in which case, why the fuck not? And there we go. And get the hell out of here, buddy. Sweet. So, for the first part, now we're just going to be making our way over here and for a freaking body. <laughs> I like how I'm treating these bodies like chests. Let's just open this body, open the carcass, check its chest. And here we get. Alright. Hmm, more shadow magic. Now we have more shadow magic than light magic. That's pretty cool. Strange, because in like my main file, the one that I normally play the game on, I have more light magic than shadow magic, so I don't I don't even know. And again, I haven't really gone back to like previous levels on my old on my normal file. Like to collect some gems that I missed. Unlike in this one where I actually do go back. <laughs> anyway, I believe this is the way we came through with the spider. And let's just go check that chest. Or er, <laughs> I called it a chest! I meant to call the corpse! Anyway, let's just get this. What does it gotta say? Spider silk, one of the strongest materials known to man. Many varieties, some of them even harder than the toughest steel, but the one produced by giant spiders is remarkably strong and extremely expensive due to the difficulty of harvesting it. Some scribbled notes handwritten in the back. People of Weigall appointed me to the abandoned castle gardens. If I manage to get my hands on some of that raw silk, I can leave the brotherhood and rich a powerful man. Heh heh heh. You screwed yourself out of life, sir. Anyway, if you go check this one door over here that we opened with the spider, then you're going to find out that you're going to be needing a key. And we don't have a key. So I'm just pointing it out. Because look at that. We do not have the key that activates the mechanism. Of course. So then that's where that one puzzle that we saw when we uh, entered the second, or when we went over the hedge, that's where that puzzle is going to be coming in. So we got to figure that out. And thankfully I remember this one because it's so piss easy. I don't get how, man, Toby's just barking like crazy. I don't know why. So this one is incredibly, really piss easy. I believe this corpse right here just has a scroll. It's going to tell us, eh, yeah, you got to figure this out. So, 500 experience. All the clues point to here, but I cannot find the castle keys anywhere. Only this inscription in the rock, but it's nonsense. Only when the th only when the three look at the center, the vampire queen will allow you, allow you to enter. And I keep reading ahead at my I keep reading ahead of time when I'm trying to talk it. And yes. Anyway, with this one, it is incredibly easy. You just choose the center one of the three and rotate it clockwise. That's all there is to it. And this will make it so all three of them view the middle. It's simple as that, I swear. And now we have the vampire key. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. And now we're going to be making our way back to the... Uh, to that one door and such. Anyway, I actually do like these first two levels of chapter 6. Because, I don't know. You guys will see right now once we reach the door and then we open the key, use the key to open the door and such. And it, I, I kind of like that they did this. And like, when I reached the end of this level, I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. Well thought out, game. Well thought freaking out. So once you use the key on this, it doesn't get used up. You actually take it back with you. Look at that. Anyway, recognize this? You recognize this at all? And yes, we went full circle from the start of chapter 6, from the start of chapter 6's first level, to all the way freaking here. We just, we just went in a full circle, just to get this key, and we're here back at the entrance, where we gotta use the key on this.
And that's it for chapter... Or this level. Well, not chapter, but you know what I meant. Anyway, I did miss the life gem. Eh, screw it. I'll collect it later. I don't feel like it right now. So if you like this part, give it a like. Subscribe if you want to watch future videos. And feel free to watch any of my previous videos, if you really feel like it. Next time on Let's Play... Le God damn it, not Skyward Sword. Next time on Let's Play Castlevania Lords of Shadow, we're going to be going into the Castle Hall, so see you guys then.